What's up, everybody? Blue. I'm in Brooklyn, BK. Uh, what was I gonna talk about? Oh, uh, the name of my video is Grandma Goes to Church to Get an Orgasm. <laughs> People might get mad at me for saying it, but listen, the thing I don't get about like religion, the, the thing that I've noticed about religion, like I, I love the fact that it keeps people civil, keeps them civilized. But then there are those that don't adhere to, they backslide, and that's human nature. And the thing about it, the thing about it is like, I learned what religion does is it plays off of human nature. Like all humans want food, water, and sex. That's natural. And then people get mad, like humans, like adults get mad at their daughters for being promiscuous. If they taught them about, if they taught them about the, the pitfalls of being promiscuous, then then um then they wouldn't have any problems about it but they try to hide it from their children but that's a natural urge at a certain age when a girl start growing breasts and getting her menstrual cycle she wants that she wants to um adhere to her urges the same thing with boys it's natural but what religion does to you is it tells you that you're not supposed to do it until you're married now who's going to wait till they're married to do it you know who's going to wait till they're married Nobody. Most people don't. Some people do. There's an exception to all rules, but that's why it's called an exception because it's, it's an exception to the rule. But most people don't wait. And if you grew up in a religious house, in a religious household, the minute you have sex out of wedlock, you feel guilty. And I tell you, you gotta go back to church. And the church is the reset. It's your reset. Button. Just like with Muslims, they tell you don't eat pork. But if the shit smell good, you gonna try it. And, and you know, once you eat the pork, you're gonna feel guilty. So you gotta go back to the mosque for the reset button. Same thing like with like eating once a day. You're taught to eat once a day in some religions, but you know humans are gonna be hungry. And they got the urge to eat. So you're gonna eat something, you're gonna break your fast and eat more than once a day. Then you feel guilty, you gotta go back to the mosque. So that's what church does. Now, the game is like all these women not having sex, not getting no dick. And that's a natural urge to want to fuck. And all these women going to church, not getting no dick. All these single women not getting no dick. So you know how they get their orgasms? They get their orgasms when they get the Holy Ghost. You want me to prove it to you? Like I said, the most euphoric feeling you can get without having sex. An actual, the, the most euphoric feeling you can get without having actual sex is the Holy Ghost. And everything starts in your imagination. And, 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 and to prove it to you, like when you ever see a baby dancing to music and no one taught him how to dance because music, not dancing becomes natural to you. Well, it is natural because your heartbeat is a metrodome. It, it's a metrodome. So you would naturally so for people. So when you hear music, you want to start dancing. So what they do in church, they're playing that music and they're talking about Jesus and they're talking about the Lord. You start getting hyped up and start dancing and shit. Start shaking around and before you know it, you get no orgasm. People say, oh, that's wrong. You can't say that. It's proof. You, I mean, it's true. You get an orgasm in your sleep, don't you? And ain't nobody touching you and you busting nut and you wake up and your drawers is wet. It's the same fucking thing, boy. No more maybe getting the Holy Ghost when they are in there because they, they caught up into the mental state of loving the Lord, loving Jesus. They like what the preacher got to say and the music feels good to them. So they start jumping and dancing and hollering around. How come they don't get the Holy Ghost when they're driving on the highway? How come they don't get the Holy Ghost when they're on the train? How come they only get the Holy Ghost when they're in church? It's real simple, man. Everything starts in your imagination and everything comes. And it's just real simple, man. It's real simple, man. They get the Holy Ghost. That's why all the black women go to church because they ain't getting no dick. They done married themselves to an invisible God. They can't see, touch, taste, hear, or smell. And they fucking them in their imagination. And that's why they get the Holy Ghost. Uh, I'm just keeping it real. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.